Uh, let's continue with bad, more more sad news for Queens. Sad, sad day in Queens history here. Uh, Lloyd Banks sent out a tweet, and I'm surprised I didn't see more people discussing this, but mm. I quickly favorited this tweet and was sad immediately. I'm sad just looking at it right now. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even like staring at it. But somebody tweeted Lloyd Banks and said, yo, Banks, I know us fans get out of hand and make all of these demands and at times are ungrateful, but are you going to bless us true fans with one more body of work? Valid question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Worded properly. Very valid. Yeah. Uh, And Banks replied, and not replied, retweeted, which was telling too. Let's be real. Ain't nobody checking for Banks anymore. Damn. He's right. I disagree. Shut up. You just said you're surprised more people didn't Hop on on what he said. You know why they didn't? Because ain't because nobody checking for Banks. Because rappers need a more dramatic exit, like I just said for Nick. No, it's that. And Banks is another one that deserves a better exit than that. I, I, I agree, but what I think what he was trying to say was, right now the shit that people are listening to and what people want ain't what he is. That's I not, disagree. But that's I disagree not what he with is. that. Look at Griselda. Like Come you, just, on, you come yeah, in and play Griselda it, every week. But it's different yes. coming from it's different coming from new younger cats than it is coming from a veteran. Them niggas ain't young. Yeah, they about the same age uh, as Banks. Right, well, well, no, I, I get Maul's point. Yeah. They're, they're new. They're yeah. new. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. They're new. So So it's just when things that's just how and, it is. And on, What's and new on top is of new. that. And on top of that, I'm not Banks, Banks doesn't have Derringer and Alchemist giving him a million. I'm pretty sure I was just about to say if Banks got with Alchemist and put out a well, tape no, or Banks, Havoc Banks or Banks verse on Conway's shit was my favorite Banks verse in the last ten years. Banks yeah. can still rap, but I think what he's trying to say is at a high he, level. Yes. Right. But what he's yeah. trying to say by that tw- in that tweet is ain't nobody, it's not like people are really out here demanding that. Like they don't like maybe but that, it would that be one welcome. fan did no. How how the fuck would he know? If you what do you mean? How out? would he know? He would know. How would he know? Because you, you don't think an artist knows when people in his when people are checking for him? That's a different question. I'm speaking about this artist in particular, who is an anomaly in the fact that he won't put his head above the ground. He's very introverted. Well, yeah, yeah, he'll that's, he'll that's, go stay in the house for ten years. Well, and then that's how you lose so, momentum. So I don't that's how think you lose your know, fan base. Know what the temperature is on 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 uh, whether somebody's checking for his shit or not. I would be checking for a Lloyd Banks project. I just think that it makes sense. I would be checking for a Lloyd Banks project. Yeah, yeah, but of we course, can't, of we can't course, we all us. would. Like, yeah, we all would be checking for. I think I'm there's just, a lot of people. I'm just saying that he doesn't. I just don't understand it again because it's so easy to put out music today. Like even if Banks just puts out five, six, a six song project, it is, yeah. so, well, it is so nice. Banks easy has to put been. Out music. Pretty, it is easy to put out music today. Then put out music. He wasn't putting out music when it was hard to put out music like that. I don't think it's not for no Banks has been pretty consistent. He's been putting out mixtapes. When like, was the last time he put out a mixtape? A couple last, years ago. Last year? Yeah. I think it was two years ago, but still. Was that it's, the verse with Joe? No, it no, sadden, no, it saddens me. You know, I don't I don't feel like no, even if you're right, Maul, right. even if you're right, I don't feel like an artist, rapper especially, should ever get to this point. It's almost our job to not ever get to this point remember a few weeks ago i talked about this this stubbornness that just has to exist Mm -hmm. for a creative to uh be successful or or not you'll or if not you'll succumb to the self-doubt you'll succumb from the rumblings of the audience you'll just succumb to a lot so you it's kind of our job to never feel like this so to see him say it to see him not only say it but to say it to someone who is who's asking for new music, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. It's telling. It's telling. Uh, it was fucked up. It was fucked up to me. And this is the one guy who you're never gonna think he's doing something for attention or he's uh, uh, trolling. He's not doing nothing. Or right. he's clout chasing. Right. He's serious if he says it. So Nick retires. Banks basically reconfirms his retirement. Yo, Banks, go get some dope beats and rap again, man. It'll work. What? Yeah, It'll even work. if it's like five, six records. He always put yeah, out good I, projects, I think, too. No, nah, even... And we've had conversations about his projects of mature Banks now, where he's not punchlining you to death. Like, it's life experience in there. He's, he's still 
very good at what he does. Yeah. And has changed his content. Well, he can he can rap better than half, more than half of the niggas that's out here today. Facts. Let's, let's, I don't care how long he goes without I, I would, putting I out a record. Way more. I would probably he put raps that in the better 85 than, to yeah, 90%. That's a fact. Of, niggas it, that's charting. And it's depressing that the gentlemen who rap the best have to feel the worst. Well, that's again, that's because of the, the, the audience. Because you're saying it's easy, right? To put out music in 2019, yes. Especially if you have a name. Like he, it's you know really, what I'm saying? Yes. It is. No, all right, it's very easy to put out music. Mm -hmm. Back to what I just said to both of you niggas earlier. That has zero to do with how an artist is being paid from his music. True. Oh, I'm not so talking about So why y'all telling me it's easy to put out music. We know it's easy to put because out Because you have to put out music to gain some type of synergy, momentum. Get your name back out there. Let people hear your, your music. But if you're an artist, I get that from the consumer standpoint. But if you're an artist and you are not incentivized to do that, then what gets you out of bed? Oh, then that's you. That's that's for him to answer. That's not on the consumers. That's what I'm saying. That's on the artist. That's on the person. That you is, gotta want to do it. Well, that that is what I'm saying. That 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 is that is my. But I can that, see that why he my, don't want to do that it. That is my retort to yeah. you saying, "Oh no, it's mad easy, but I'm using." No, everybody's not running around feeling like that. I'm sure Lloyd Banks can make a two pack in his sleep. Yeah. What the fuck does it do for him? I well, mean, if you well, do the right, right project with the right producer, then it would do a lot for him. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a whole I mean, lot of ifs. I mean, that's not a whole lot of but ifs. But I, I think I'm, no, I think when Banks really it sits beats down, what he's doing right now. Well, we I don't. Try know some that. Shit. We don't right? I don't. I don't know that yeah. musically. What is he doing right well, now? Not, well, well, yeah, what, well, what? No, I'm talking about for for his inner happiness. No, I'm t okay now. Him I, be, I can't say him being happy or depressed. I don't know. I don't know Banks like that. I don't know if he's in the mood to make music. If he's not in the mood, well, he clearly ain't in the mood. I'm just saying. But but he said that. Fans ain't checking for him, and I'm saying the way that you get fans or, or people to check for you is you put you throw your shit out there, you throw some fire out there. Like, like oh, this nigga Banks is still in shape. This nigga's put out a bomb. Niggas gonna start coming back. They gonna start checking for it. You can't shut the block down and think the fiends are still gonna line up. It don't happen like that. Nigga, you gotta get some samples out. Let niggas know you still got that butter. I yo, know, I do agree with Maul that I so think you gotta put a single Banks, out. No, no, he don't. I think no, he's, Banks, no, 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 so, no, no, so, no, no. So, so that's no, 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 that, no, no. Everything he you has just to said, put a project. Out. Everything you just said. No, no he, he has the purpose put a, of artists. No, no, he has to put out. a project out. <laughs> no, he has to put a project. Just let him know I still got that butters. Let him know the block gotta, is still hot. He got to put. He got to put a project to, out. To some artists, the single wouldn't be there. I think Banks, if he did some freestyle Friday that was in video form consistently for about a month, just to get people back to like, all right, Banks is there. Because when Banks sits down and does albums, Banks has hits. With yeah. or without G Unit. Facts. Like Hunger for More 2 was at 2011. Mm -hmm. He had like four yeah. hit records on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when he sits down and really gets an album mode, which he doesn't do very often at all, especially now, he delivers. I just don't know if he wants to deliver that way anymore. But I could see why artists like Banks will be discouraged in his climate, though, because the business has changed so much. I and argue, so many, there's so many other little games you got to play around the industry, like as far as like with the social media shit. He's obviously not a social media guy. And now it's all about clickbait. Like it's Man, all about. But you don't have to do that, especially for someone that raps really well. I nah, would that's argue not true. You gotta it play the game. I would argue it's not just Banks, and I would challenge y'all to tell me how many veteran albums are just dropping frequently. Um, there's still quite a bit. But that's, quite a bit. But, of veteran rap albums to, well, drop, veteran. that drop frequently. Define um, veteran, because I well, I'd start to put in this era, Drake is a veteran. At, at well, this point, well, he is. Drake is, is yeah. a, yeah. a veteran at any point. Yeah, ten, 10 years, you're a vet. That's a vet. Yeah. Then yeah, they. I mean, the big three. The vets they come out. What, Not once frequently. A year? Once, a, once year? a year. Drake don't drop once a year. Yeah. Cole don't drop once year, a year. Year and a half, two years at year, max. Year, a year, at a, max. a year and a half in yeah, the microwave if, streaming era. That's like two years. But yeah, even but if they're they not don't, those artists that need to do that. That's why. But even if they, they don't drop to do projects, it, they do it. Even if they don't drop their projects, they're active. They on somebody's record. They on somebody's album. They on somebody's like it's not yeah, their I shit. Mean, Cole did a year but their voice is still out there. Their, their work is still visible. With Banks, it's that's, like that's not the point of what I'm saying. Yes, features. They're going to be visible. You need those bigger artists in the ecosystem to kind of keep everything afloat. So when they do a feature on the new niggas artist, that's kind of, I mean, on a new artist record, that's kind of still my point. Most of the veterans are not just running around saying, oh, it's easy, I'm putting it out. Like, there's some type of uh, turmoil, and I won't say turmoil, but something behind the scenes or being hidden with most of the veterans. 
like what though? What do you think? Because I think it's easy for somebody like Banks I think it's to get with a hot producer and put out a well, six Banks, song well, EP on well, SoundCloud. Well, in yeah. the conversation I'm having right now, Banks will be a dinosaur. So mm-hmm. it's probably yeah. a bit harder when you get in your dinosaur think tank to say, okay, I've been absent for X amount of time. I need to do X, Y, Z. Exactly what you were just saying. Uh, when the, the more you've been absent, the, the more discouraging that, that let me get the block hot mm-hmm. feel mm-hmm. is. It's like, all right, we got to do a lot now. I put mixtape out. I mean, we got to put another mixtape up or the EP out. I got to fucking show and, my face And not somewhere. only that, you don't even know what fucking, the block like anymore. I got to put a video out. I got to see what the sound is. Yeah, exactly. Gotta, you got, it's, a lot, it's a lot of research you got to do to jump back out there. But my thing is now, if Banks gets with a, a producer, a hot producer, we, may, we know he doesn't even have to have, have a name. He got a dope sound. Banks found him. Put six, seven songs together. Put it on SoundCloud. Let the fan base, your fan base, talk about it, spread it. That's how you get shit moving again. If Lloyd Banks put his put an album out on Empire, he would not retire. Agreed. Mm. Word. No, not, let me not say that because he could be retiring for his happiness, but he wouldn't be. He wouldn't tweet that. Is exactly. what I'm saying. He wouldn't say, "Oh man, come on, be for real. You niggas ain't checking for me." It's, I don't know why artists and, feel like you need a million people checking for you to. Well, I, so, I was going to say, do you it, think all of this is a byproduct of being part of such a successful franchise with G Unit? Absolutely. And so now his expectations are absolutely. if it's not yeah. chart topping. Uh, absolutely. You can't no go from performing form in the garden into performing in BB King. That's like, exactly what I did, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> right. I had a blast. <laughs> right. Like, like sometimes you, 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 uh, sometimes you're not mad at the trickle down effect, depending, contingent upon how high up you were. G Unit was the top. Yeah. So. What do we? How? 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 how where do y'all want to rate the fall off? Like they, he could fall and at the bottom still have a pretty good career. Yeah, no, absolutely. Because yeah. that's and, how many people they were uh, uh, visible to. And mm-hmm. and the trickle down, if you want to call it that, or for example, the garden to BB Kings or whatever. the trickle down. I, I f- think no. I think you now. I know exactly who my. It's tangible. I know exactly who's here to see me. Yeah, and not this. Monster collective I was part of, and right. that and and that's what I loved about going from like you said the guard or what did you say the garden to BB Kings. You give give a nigga one shot at the big audience, which for me was Pump It Up, first album, Def Jam, uh, all of this money, great. How many albums did we sell? Fucking four hundred ninety thousand albums, cool. So now when I'm beefing with the label and I have to move on, and the money is not being dumped into me, and everybody's confused. Oh, what's happening to Joe? They don't know the money's not being dumped. But no. it's like, okay, I, I have 500,000 people. That was mine. Mm-hmm. I only got one shot. I have 500,000 niggas to talk to. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Move, move music. Hey, whoever's coming from that, they just stayed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. I wasn't crying saying, oh, man, where's these other niggas? Yeah. I was saying, all right, we out now. Right. And I think Banks is capable of the same... I think well, Banks, well, I, Banks, Banks, is, Banks is an elite fucking can, musician. You know what I'm let, saying? That will always be valuable. Banks can go on tour right now in Europe. He, uh, I saw him at Highline. It, it wasn't the 10 year of, of Hunger for More. It was like a year before that. I saw him at Highline. Highline was packed. Yeah. Like packed. Well, packed. You know when Highline be like, he can on go to Europe. Pack? He can yeah. go to Europe and pack out venues. Well, that's what I was going to say. Banks could do four shows in the US and kill in Europe Absolutely. at a good size. Absolutely. Good, good size venue. Absolutely. But that's what acts like him have that luxury for the rest of their life they could just tour in Europe and be fine but Banks is someone that don't want to leave his house well again I mean you can't which I, mean, I think has hindered the, the part of finding a dope producer or getting in with people Banks will record at his house all day right mm-hmm. and only want the people that he likes and trusts to be next to him okay well I mean I would like to hear more Lloyd Banks I this, think this, this would be the perfect this time this one just saddens me that's all yeah. this yeah. would be the perfect time even though it's not going to happen because they're not getting along and it's funny. A, a nice a nice G unit project oh, right now with the three of them. Or a knock it off. Would be great. Just think it's a perfect time for it. Banks could Banks could put out some music right now. He could put a project out right now. Niggas will love it. Yeah. Because he's that good at what he does. Mm. And go get that Europe money. Go on tour. Or just hit the road. Fucking get nice little checks from Empire and do it a couple times a year or the, the, once a year. The energy you give off, man, the energy you give off is so important. I would feel totally different about this retirement if he did. If he didn't tweet, come on, man, you niggas ain't fucking with me. Mm-hmm. Like, if he tweeted, yo, I know I said it before, but I just want to, I'm really done, y'all. Like, don't expect no me. If he would have told a fan, yeah. like I tell my fans, mm-hmm. right. I should, that's your day. Don't get it. no hope. Ain't happening. Nope. <laughs> so you either going to rock with what I'm doing 
or you know that, hey, that's not coming. I don't want to mislead anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if he would have just worked, said this a little differently, I would be championing. I would be championing him. But the fact that it sounds he sounds defeated. so discouraged, yeah. he sounds defeated. He sounds like he don't really know his. Yeah, you know I mean, come on, man, it's fucking Banks. And this is where I get mad at me being so passionate about hip hop because it's fucked up out there. Oh yeah, yeah. it's fucked up. So but if that, you that, love I, this nigga, yeah, but that has a re- that has. I think that plays on his mindset and his. His 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 emotion behind that tweet is that he know it's fucked up out here. He I, he probably just don't want to be a part of this shit that's going on. Well, he been ain't want to be a part. Yeah, of Yeah, so that, <laughs> now more than ever for sure, because now it's just a whole bunch of fuck shit going on. Niggas I mean, t shirts is being counted as a, a album sale. Like, well, why I found that tweet so interesting? Go back to the tweet, Scream Man. He oh, that was fast, Scream the, Man. <laughs> the person the person was saying, "Your true fans, one more." He has a core group. A good 100%. amount of true fans. 100%. So then when he replied back with, ain't nobody checking for Banks anymore, now I'm thinking you're more focused on other fans or the fans you've lost that were more just there for the popularity and love of the hit Beg for Mercy, yeah, I Smell yeah. Pussy. Like, and, that, and that's why, you know what, niggas clowned me my whole career for not having a hit record or not having more hit records. I never wanted one. I never wanted another one because it was just going to bring more fickle mm-hmm. fans. It's not a true test. It's 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 like it's like cloud chasing. It's like you do some wild shit on the internet. You see a huge spike. Niggas ain't coming back the next week. Right? No. That's why I laugh this, at those people. Yeah, this is. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's gonna be sad. If y'all want to continue. <laughs> What's the Queen's please? version of outstanding that we can play? <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking to the top. Joe wasn't even outside. Go, like, go. I hate when he plays shit and be acting like he was really out there. No, I was in the studio writing rhymes, dissing him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing. I'm telling you, I, when I heard niggas that was nice, I went outside. <laughs> I didn't hide, nigga. This is when nobody would say a word to him but Joe. You was outside, so act like you remember. I was outside. <laughs> I was definitely outside for sure. <laughs> Never even heard of you niggas. <laughs> Rory has to say nigga if he sings this in his house. <laughs> <laughs> How does somebody like this just stop? Yeah, Ma, I'm sick of your hypocrisy. You cannot be so big on Griselda and then sound down on Lloyd Banks. You gonna watch your... No, just shut the fuck up. How was I, how <laughs> no, was I no, sound no. a lot? For real, no, how, honestly. How I'm, was I'm, I sounding I'm, down I'm, on Banks? I'm, I'm sick of your favoritism with how certain was, niggas. How was I sounding down on Banks? You don't sound like you would sound with the niggas that you sound like I when you like... I fuck with Banks. What you mean? I fuck with him, but I understand you, you why he feel the you, way you You notice you've never had to come in here and say, yo, I fuck with Conway. What you mean? Because I didn't play. Because I didn't play a Banks record. I'm done with you. Banks ain't putting nothing out. Oh man, come on, man! How old was Rory? Nine. <laughs> this came out. Yeah, nine. Yeah. It was not nine when this. I came didn't out. say that. <laughs> Park said that. Lamar said that. I agree. Like, I outside like, when this 15, came 15, out. 14? I know, but I always. Fourteen. 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 Oh, yeah, nah, nine. Fourteen. fourteen nah, same nah, thing. Nah, that's outside. Nah, that's good, nah that's fourteen is outside. Yeah, you outside at fourteen. I was outside at nine. Robin niggas at fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Wallace and Shakur. God damn it. He ain't going to do that again. I can't believe you think I don't fuck with Banks. <laughs> this nigga Joe is crazy. That's not what I was saying. And that's not what Man. I said. Don't put words in my mouth. I can't talk about him if he's not putting out work. Like, what you want me to say? I want you to listen to this.
Yo, every few years, Sky Zoo will do something Sky Zoo-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Sky. Pete, Maul, have you heard this? This came out today. I heard it. You did hear it, right? Mm -hmm. What if I knew you heard it, bitch ass nigga? <laughs> Far share this? Yeah. I knew you heard it you too. You know I heard it. Where you heard this? Of course, Sky is my dude. Y'all are such backpackers. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. Sky and Pete, I'm in. Conway, I'm in. <laughs> Enough said. This is a mean. Uh, this is a mean lineup. Yeah. He's Benny, doing a whole. He's doing a whole album with Pete. Benny Westside, Sky Conway, yeah. Pete Rock, Sky Zoo, and Elzai. Yeah. <laughs> It's a lot of rapping. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yo, he said that. I swear to you, I got up and just walked around the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, oh, Ooh, see, I could have said that. Am I coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I could have nah, said that. Nah, for real. Right. That is a fucking... Line, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a bar. That's craziness. He knew Elza was on this song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta ask, like, you who else was on this? Yeah, you know why I like these niggas? Cause, cause they sound like I ain't asking who on the song, and I don't care who on the song. I'm doing put them on, the, yeah, yeah. on the song. That's why I want to. Hey, when you start in your <laughs> tape, you start in your tape with a feature from Black Thought. You don't give a fuck who's on. That's the a fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're pretty comfortable with your ability. Yeah. Man, I don't think these niggas been outshined yet. No, nah, not really. Nah. They haven't. Oh, I need to get them a slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I want to hear what it sounds like. I do too. Yeah, me too. I would want to hear I want to hear. I wonder them. if that would be a weird mix. I want to hear them nope. and these niggas. Why is that be a weird mix? Because I don't know. I wouldn't be at all. Nah, they fit in with all of that slaughterhouse locks, fucking that mob, all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just taking their flowers now. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I don't like when they do that. What? <laughs> Rap really well? No, no. Take their flowers. Why? Because <laughs> they're new. So? And ain't nobody going to give it to them. And shit, they've been putting out yeah. music for a while. So. Everybody's been giving it to them. You think so? Because it's refreshing. Everybody <laughs> has given Griselda their flowers. Okay. Rock, Rock Nation, so. Hove, Us, M, Who's Left? <laughs> <laughs> Pete Rock, <laughs> Premier. Yeah. Who's left? Puff. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. Hey, niggas I'm fuck like, with these niggas. Glad we're in and that mix. And that's why it makes zero sense for Banks to retire. Now, that's Agreed. what I would say. I would agree. But that's why I feel like what Banks is saying about it's just the fact that he's just not really that active and that consistent anymore. If Banks come on right behind this. Yeah. It works. He's smoking. It works. He is. It and works. I do more than work. Yeah, it works. <laughs> I agree. Oh, come on, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> this beat, these niggas. Uh, yeah. Because uh. you could talk exactly that talk on yeah. that 
and be at home. Man, yep. I pulled out the phone with notes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you started the verse. Well, those, yeah, don't start your first with you. I smoked all them niggas too. <laughs> your mind? Your mind? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. What? I got to work on my opening line. <laughs> That's the tough one, though. <laughs> yeah, your isn't going to get it done. No. Especially after a hiatus. Yeah, what? Your? <laughs> Joe going to open this line with, hey, guys. Um, <laughs> this is Joe Button from the Joe Button Podcast. Yo, you know what's, you know what's funny, funny about Parks? He cracking on a year, but a year with work. some heat coming down. <laughs> it after works. It. It, works. Man, it works. Listen. It works. I was in the crib the other day just imagining a five, four, three, two countdown real quick. That would work. Yeah. Anything would work. Not that shit you just No, 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 I know. I know. I get I'd be joking when I do that. <laughs> I know. I know what you mean. But when I get to the middle of the verse, like when these rapping niggas start rapping and I start rapping in my hand, I get to the middle of the verse. I'm killing shit in the middle. It's but I think beginning. I forgot how to open a verse and end a verse, which mm. that is easier may- than the beginning. The end is way easier. Slow down, buddy. I Wait, challenge that from both of you because the beginning I think is equally we're... as important. Well, the three of us, the you had good, you had really good endings, you. actually. What do you mean? He just faded the beat out. He never ended. Nah, shut up. <laughs> I had great endings. I'm yeah, he had you. good endings. His ending was his name. It's Joe. <laughs> get the fuck out of here! I know who the nah, fuck it is. That work, nah. we, we, I know who the so, fuck I'm listening to. Nah, let me tell you though, it's, it's, Joe. Joe. it's Joe. No, I don't think I don't know if I've ever heard a conversation about the importance of an opening line and a closing line in rap. Prodigy and Push are the number one and two openers of all time. I'm with you on Prodigy. I need to think about Pusha in that respect. Push got mad opening bars. I think Fife is amazing at opening. Absolutely. Like every single one of his Andre verses. is a really good opener too. <laughs> that, that verse just be good the whole way through. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> he don't stop. He opened crazy and you're like, ooh, now, oh, shit, it's still crazy. <laughs> he, he just flipping. Uh, I still can't believe we never really <laughs> spoke a lot about Andre 3000 walking around the airport playing the flute. That's fire. Like, I don't know how we know. That's retirement, man. That's, that's, that's retirement. That's, I'm at the gate Fuck this shit. I'm playing the flute, man. man. That's <laughs> retirement. That's retirement. That's a nice, the dramatic that? retirement. What? He was playing the flute at the gate. Listen, yeah, I, wanna, I need to go to Papaya's with a saxophone and just stand there. <laughs> There's great people believe you. Y'all just seen anything in front of Papaya's playing the sax. The funny shit, if I was in front of Papaya's playing the sax, no one would take it as odd. Like, look at Joe. He's in his bag right now. He out here tripping. Bag. Oh, yeah. sax bag oh, now. Joe on them pills again. Yeah. Matter of fact, I was just about to get two hot dogs and a lemonade. Let me walk over there. Yo. Got the case out with tips. Niggas gonna walk by. I just heard Joe say he liked the sax on the podcast. <laughs> Took that shit to the next level on him. Playing the flute, just walking around the air. That's that is, fire. That's fucking hilarious. Man, I think that's a clarinet How'd you get for that through TSA? Worth. But flute's better. Yeah, clarinet flute. That's not even a real flute. No, that's a clarinet, I think. Oh, it, looks more, it looks more clarinetist. Whatever it is, he's retired. That's and fire. Fan, anyone that that actually buckles that shit on the backpack yeah. is retired. And yeah. when you get on a plane, <laughs> when you get on a plane with a flight suit, <laughs> like the whole way zip up, just shit. in case. Yeah, it's a just commercial flight. <laughs> he's retired. That might be a Yo, parachute. Every, now that I think about that, it, everyone from that era, Chappelle, him, they be getting their onesie shit off he's like all the time. He's definitely wearing a skydiving outfit. That's a parachute. <laughs> Listen, I think that's man. a parachute on his back. When you retire, you pick up weird hobbies. Maybe he picked up like flying planes or jumping out of them. Like what? So he's just always prepared. That's a good point. I'm like, what is Banks about to do now in retirement? He's got to learn the flute. Got all the, all the sax. He looks like a piano guy to me. You can't walk around with the piano, though. Yeah. No, nah, get a little keyboard. Nah, it's not the same. Nah, Banks might play the guitar. Yeah, I can see Banks that. play the bass. He's quiet and cool. Yeah. He definitely plays the bass, bass guitar. I'm going to fuck the game up with, like, the xylophone or something. You look like, <laughs> a, you look like a sitar, man. Sitar. That's really hard. That's 21 strings, bro. That's not... <laughs> Take some dexterity. What is the sitar? Uh, big droney. Oh, that's my shit. The sitar. How, how go again? Stars is hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's my shit. No, nah, that's hard. The sitar. <laughs> the sitar. <laughs> the sitar is fire. Ah, the sitar. <laughs> oh, you're hating now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sitar. At the, the sitar. Joe <laughs> will play the sitar. That's you, Joe. That Definitely. looks great. A hookah and a sitar. Yeah, that looks yeah. like a hookah. <laughs> that shit is crazy hard. The Smoking sitar. out the sitar. I'll smoke a beat off the sitar. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who invented the sitar? It's Indian. Yeah. Gotta be. It is. That shit look, definitely look like a, a coffee table, ashtray, and a hookah. 